Tiny talent time for Frank. Sunday night, wise guys holding court, talking too loud to ignore last minute white rice yaps burning on the stove, and you could never stop talking to her more often than not, it was the other way around. She speaks of sleeping without dreaming, and tonight Frankie made the hockey talk sound like why poetry again. I promised you I wouldn't smoke in bed alone. I lied. Uh, more mundane court tape. Four guys saunter in the bar. They all have girlfriends who smell like patchouli oil and clove cigarettes. They all snivel and gesture a lot. They keep asking each other, what's the story? What's the story? Want a cheeseburger? They don't want it. You want a drink? They don't know. Debate ensues. They order kamikazes. She says, those are big shots. And he says, no, we be the big shots. Then the old Ike comes in sauntering like he's a golf pro at the local Lynx, who's got two W eyes under his belt last week alone. And he buys a beer and assesses the quartet. So what's the story? I said, you don't want to know. And he nods in agreement. Neither do they. Good one for you. Remember the yuppies? It's a lost art. I don't think they really do that anymore. The name went out of style. They all have plans. They all have dates. They're all stunningly attractive. They all have their moments. They have good jobs. They don't have a prayer. They don't pray anyway. They all have money in the bank. They're all in ridiculous debt. They have regrets. They have someone to talk to who has nothing to say and never listens. They all talk nonstop all the time. They have drinking problems, cocaine problems. They know everything but admit to nothing. They've been everywhere. They never left town. They all have air tight alibis. All the stories are full of holes. They all cast shallow shadows. They all have broken hearts. If they had them, that is.